Well, everybody, the day has finally come. We are here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, early access build with Rev on Thule Coast, and we're about to jump into it for the very first time. So let's get into it. I am so excited. I have been waiting very impatiently, I will admit, to try and get a chance to play this map. So uh, the fact that I'm able to now is incredible. And thank you to Expansive Worlds for giving me uh, this opportunity to show it to you guys early. Uh, without any further ado, let's just jump into it. I'm excited to see this map. Already just on first look, I can already tell that this map is going to be a quite a beautiful map to traverse and explore. And I mean, just with what we saw on the EW livestream, I really feel like it didn't give justice to just how nice this is looking. This reminds me so much of Generation Zero. If you guys have played that game, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, we've got something up there. Already we got Tundra Bean Goose, and level 5 is the max level for these things. So, I mean, we might as well try to get a couple of them down while we can. This is uh, pretty insane that we've already got some uh, geese in front of us. I, I don't know if we're going to be able to hit any. I mean, they are kind of moving quickly. I I'm not really expecting to hit anything, but if we could just get one down real quickly, That'd be amazing. There's just tons of these bean goose everywhere. This is an amazing star. We're already seeing geese flying around and it looks so much better than what the geese previously looked in other updates. This this is already great. I'm so excited. But let's go ahead and claim the first outpost and then we will see what we can do uh, location wise and try to find some good spots to hunt for some stuff. And as always, I do have the mission system turned off as I don't want to give you guys any spoilers because I know quite a few of you want to do that type of stuff yourself. And I respect that, so we will not be doing anything mission related in the uh, early access period for uh, myself at least. Uh, not exactly sure what other creators are going to do, but I'm going to steer clear of it that way you guys can get a chance to do it yourself. Well, let's be honest, this would not be a Scarecrow video if Whitetail were not the first thing that we ended up finding on the brand new map. Look at those things. This is literally right outside of the outpost. There's already a bunch of Whitetail deer. I got a feeling this is going to be a great whitetail map. If we're already finding them, this map is probably going to be pretty good for them. But as tempting as it is to take down some whitetail, we're not here for the whitetail today. We are here for all of the brand new species and to explore the map a little bit, as this is a first look. My goal for today is to kind of unlock a bunch of the maps, see if we can find a couple cool trophies along the way. And since I've got basically a full day to prepare this video, I think we're going to try and find a diamond or rare, even if it takes me the entire day. I want to have one for this video so you guys can at least see one of the new diamonds or rares, because I do think that that is probably what a decent amount of you are very interested in is what they're going to be like, so we're going to try and get one today. We are going to do our best to find one. So I immediately just noticed something. They have fixed that little um, bug where you can see the fur type of an animal just by looking at it on your map. So that is an interesting, uh, an interesting change. It's definitely something that needed to be done, but I didn't expect it to actually be changed this update. So if you guys were used to opening your map to look at the track you just picked up to see if it was a rare fur type, it looks like that's no longer a thing. Wow, that is incredibly cool. We have some golden eye ducks just resting on the shoreline. I think we're going to try and stock up on them and try to get a couple of them down just so we can get a first look at the golden eye because I don't think they've shown off a ton of that in the EW stream. That is uh, very interesting and also I just I just did want to clarify real quickly um there was some people saying that the scoring looked weird for the golden eyes and I think even Jaxie Beard at one point during the live streams uh, thought the scoring might have been bugged for the uh, bird species on this map but it's definitely not. If you guys are familiar with the quail on Mississippi it's the same scoring system they use Essentially what it is is they weigh so little that they can't use a traditional uh, score for these species because otherwise you would have every single duck you kill scoring something like 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Like it, it would not really give us a very large variety of scores so I think that is the reasoning why we have these scores that say something like 574 to 774. It's because instead of let's say ounces instead of ounces they're using grams or like an equivalent to that it's just a, a smaller weight unit being used to score them because they weigh so little and that is why the scores look to be so high even though in reality they're actually not that high I know that may be a little bit confusing but it's very similar to the quail so if you guys have been hunting the quail then you'll know exactly the uh, way that these are scored 
But let's go ahead and try to get one of these down. Uh, this is probably a bad idea, but we're going to try it. And just like that, we have one of the females down. We'll see if we can get the male as well. And just like that, we have taken down a Tundra Bean Goose, which is amazing. Uh, if we can, we'll try to take down some of these other species. We got a Capricali right there. Where did all of these come from? And also, we are just absolutely failing to hit everything in sight. There was way more species around here than I thought. We are like completely surrounded by different birds. This is amazing. And just like that, we have another one down. So we got a lot to look at. Uh, let's start picking these things up. You know, this is definitely going to be one of those maps where you can just get completely lost in blasting everything around you and completely forget about what you were doing. I mean, we were going to explore the map today and try to unlock a bunch of it, but I feel like I'm just going to spend my time blasting every bird in sight. It really does seem like this is going to be one of those maps where you kind of just get completely distracted at every turn and just start blasting away at everything you see. It really does seem like it's going to be that kind of map, and I'm all for it. I absolutely love that type of stuff, and ooh, this is nice right here. Wow, this new wheel is really good. This is... This is actually incredible. So that's going to make it so much easier to select what you want your dog to do. I really like that. That is a great change. Now, unfortunately, it says not found. I, I don't know where this goose could be. And there it is. This is a level 4 gray lag goose, I believe. It might have been a bean goose. I didn't really uh, take too close of a look. I just started blasting, but regardless, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. And this is a tundra bean goose. This one is a gold, 2.80. And now it actually tells you the uh, true score instead of rounding it up. Now, previously... There was a lot of situations where people would get a goose that said it should have made diamond, but it ended up being gold. I think now it gives you a little more accurate representation of what the actual diamond scores are for animals, which is really good. It'll kind of help with some of the confusion that was kind of centered around some of those species that had like a hidden decimal. And now we'll be able to actually see what the uh, true score requirements are for each of these species. And oh my gosh, this is so nice looking. Huge fan of the Tundra Bean Goose already, and this is just the first one we've taken down. So, there is the second goose that we ended up taking down. I believe this is also going to be a Bean Goose, and it is. This one right here is a female. Very similar looking to the males, but also different. Uh, let's exit that real quickly, because I do hear more birds. And uh, I really have no idea where they are, so... Want to stay ready just in case. Okay, so we got some Western Capricalis right here. It seems like they are incredibly close. And I believe the Capricalis are one of the species where you have to shoot them in the air. You can't actually shoot them when they're on the ground. And that was a terrible shot right there, but hopefully it'll end up going down. If not, then we still have a few others that we need to pick up. So we definitely did get the Capricali down. However, I want to pick up this duck first because this was the first thing that we ended up shooting. And this is a gray female goldeneye 775.60 but this is kind of what I was talking about with the scores because it's 0 0.78 if they use the traditional scoring system where it went by the weight of the animal and used like the kill the kilograms of the actual uh, species as the score this would say something like 0 0.70 which that wouldn't give a lot of room for uh, score variation which is why they do it like this it's uh, kind of just breaking it down a little bit more into a, a smaller into smaller weight units, I guess, instead of being in uh, kgs. Let's say that this right here is something like grams. Obviously, I, I'm not sure if that's accurate. I'm just giving you guys an example, but it's just they're breaking it down a little bit more to give more score variety. And I kind of like that. I think it's a good idea. Makes it so nothing is going to score exactly the same for the most part. And I think that's a good thing. And now we will get our very first look at a Western Capricali. And they are looking beautiful as I expected. This one is just a female, so it's not going to be quite as beautiful looking as the males, but it's still great looking. I absolutely love the birds on this map. This is also something new with this update. There is now icons on these fast traveling boats. So uh, from now on, whenever you are wanting to fast travel from, let's say, here to here, there will actually be an icon showing you where you can do that, which is great. Because previously it was kind of difficult to tell where those locations were, and now we know exactly. 
You know, since we have been seeing a lot of bean geese and also a ton of golden eyes, I think I'm going to set up some decoys in this area and uh, see if we can get some to fly in. This will definitely be one of those places that I hunt those species, I feel, considering we've been seeing quite a few of them fly by and have even got to take out a few. So we're going to do a quick little setup here and uh, hunt around a little bit, see if we can get a couple of them down. Oh gosh, here they are. We've already got ducks coming in and I just finished putting the decoys down. Now, this is insane, they're already here. I did not expect that. I gotta get inside this blind quickly. I was gonna use the water layout blind, but it didn't really fit here super well, so... We are, uh, going to end up using this one instead. Uh, I, I gotta even see what the, uh... Which one I should be using for the collar. It looks like... Probably... Well, neither of those. Well, we're just gonna use the regular duck collar because it doesn't actually tell me which one I can use on these. Let's uh, see if we can quickly spot some. I, I doubt I'm going to be doing much spotting with the duck hunting with the way it currently is. Like, they, they just move too quickly. No way I'll be able to spot everything. But look at them just circling. This is absolutely incredible. I, I love the new waterfowl system. It looks so good. Let's uh, see if we can get a couple of these down. And there we go. Two of them down. Let's see if we can get a couple with the 22 Hornet. There we go, we got one. Maybe we can get one more. Well, unfortunately, could not get any more of them down, but we do have a couple right here to take a look at. This is a 760.50 black golden eye uh, male duck. That is beautiful. My gosh, that looks so good. Yeah, these are beautiful birds. Beautiful birds. Definitely going to tax one of these. That way we can get a closer look at it in the lodge, but already I am just absolutely in love with all the species on this map. This is so nice. These gotta be some of the best bird species we've got in the entire game. They're, they're just so nice looking compared to what we've previously seen in Call of the Wild. I gotta say this is a huge step up for waterfowl hunting, huge step up for upland hunting as well. A lot of these species just seem incredible. And uh, those ones are unfortunately alerted, so I should probably jump back into the blind. Oh my gosh, hello there. That is incredibly close. And just like that, we got it down. Man, this is just too much fun. Already having the time of my life and we've barely been playing for 40 minutes. I got a feeling this is going to be a very long video. Apologies in advance for the fact that this is probably going to be an incredibly long video. But I, I can't help myself. There is just so much to go through. And that is a gray plumage type golden eye duck. I'm going to tax that because I actually don't know if gray is the normal color for them. It definitely seems different than uh, all of the other ones that I've killed so far, but I, I guess we'll see. That's really cool looking regardless, and we should have one more down. Yeah, I believe this is our goose that we took out on the on the uh, fly away. Yeah, light gray tundra bean goose. Okay, let's tax that as well because that's a plumage type I haven't seen either. We've officially got the very first call from a hazel grouse. Now, I'm not going to uh, stop to try and get this thing to uh, flush out at the proper time. We're just going to continue running, and if we uh, get a shot at it, we get a shot at it. But I'm trying to unlock some of these outposts right now, so if we don't, then it is what it is. However, it seems like they're definitely close, just don't know where. Now, oh, there it is. There we go. If that didn't hit, I don't even know what would have. Well, that one definitely hit, so we at least got one into it. There we have it, our very first look at a hazel grouse, and I believe this was a female. Yes, it is, a female 354 silver one. Beautiful, though. Even the females just look so good of all these species. I cannot wait to bag some rares of these. It's gonna be really nice. Now. We're definitely going to take a look in the lodge in a separate video and see if they do have some new multi-mounts. As I'm sure you're all very excited to uh, know whether or not that's a fact and we will definitely check it out and honestly might even make it a part of this video right here. Well that's a really cool sight. We've got some Canada geese just kind of chilling out here in the forest. This is something that we have never seen in Call of the Wild and that's because previously the geese worked quite differently, and now with this new waterfowl rework, 
They can do stuff like this. They're, they're literally just chilling in a forest resting. This is pretty incredible. Now, I am curious. What is their resting zone going to say? 11 to 13. Very interesting. Actually, wait a minute. That's a hazel grouse zone. Or no, that's uh, that's never mind. We're good. <laughs> I looked at the track thing and thought it was a hazel grouse, but that is very cool. Definitely a huge fan of uh, all of the waterfowl species just kind of having normal zones in the forest. This is really cool. Very cool thing to see. Oh, there we go. So that is, I believe, another hazel grouse, and we just got a call from a rock ptarmigan as well. We are right in the thick of it. It seems like there is stuff everywhere. And yeah, that's definitely a different species than what we've killed previously, I think. Maybe? I don't even know. There's there's wings flapping everywhere. But let's just go ahead and pick this up. This is a brown hazel grouse, so we did kill a hazel grouse earlier, I think. I feel like we did, but uh, either way, they look great. Absolutely love them, but I am pretty sure we killed one earlier. Ooh, there we go. We got the black grouse finally. I have been looking for one of these, really hoping that we would get a look at them. Yes, here we go. Here we go. I think that should be a hit. Yes, it is. We got it. Oh my gosh, we finally got a black grouse down. This was probably one of the species that was most hyped up with this map. A lot of you really wanted to see them. And well, we're finally going to get a look at them. And also, let's take a look around the shore here. I got to check for whitetail. You guys know me. I love uh, love the great one grinding. So anytime we get near some water, I got to check to see if we can find ourselves more whitetail locations. But doesn't look like it here. And there we go. Our very first look at a black grouse. And oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. These are probably one of the best looking species with this map. This is absolutely incredible. Now, let's test this new darker background and see, typically, having a tree in the background of your trophy shot would kind of make it look a little bit blurry. Let's see about now. Ah, it still has a little bit of issues, but it is much clearer than it was before. That is so cool. Uh, going to tax that immediately. I love the blue throughout this. I imagine that this one right here is probably a common, but, you know... It's possible it could be rare. It, it looks like it is just a common, though. Well, this is a very different take on an outpost. So this is just like a campsite. That's pretty cool. Um, I, I guess we'll claim it. And now the fire gets lit. That is so cool. Uh, I don't know what's happening now, but you know, that is really cool looking. And so now we've got all of our stuff here. We've got the bed to sleep, we've got our cache right there, and we just heard ourselves a lynx, so I'm gonna head over there, see if maybe we can find ourselves a uh, diamond lynx, that would be pretty cool, never found one before, so I'd be down to have a little diamond lynx action, but we're gonna continue moving around, seeing what we can find, and uh, hope that we can just find some really cool stuff to show you guys. Well, it looks like we have a female black grouse in front of us, let's uh, try to flush it out, and... That will be the end of her. Very uh, interested in what the females look like. I don't know if they showed off a female black grouse in the EW stream. I think they showed off the males for sure. Uh, the females do look pretty good as well though. Much lighter. Very light compared to the hazel grouse even. Except I think the hazel grouse had a white belly. These are nice. Oh my gosh, we actually hit that. So because that is a level 4, I obviously want to get it down on the odd chance that it ends up being a diamond level 4. Because as of now, we don't know which species can make diamond uh, one level below commonly. So we're going to see if we can maybe get a diamond level 4 bean goose and it's, it's, it's actually not dead. Uh, now it died. Okay, so I, I guess we just paralyzed it. That's, uh, uh, that's kind of sad. So here is that bean goose and it is looking beautiful as always. Oh my gosh, that's a leucistic! Dude, are you kidding me? We've got a leucistic tundra bean goose already! Wow, that is amazing! It's a gold too! I didn't even realize that this was a leucistic. That is so awesome! 
You know, when I was looking at it in the water, I thought there might have been something different about it. I didn't want to say anything because I figured I was probably wrong considering this is a new species and I really haven't had a lot of time to uh, see all of them. But that is indeed a leucistic and that might be one of the most beautiful leucistics I've ever seen in Call of the Wild. This is truly gorgeous. That is incredible. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I am very impressed with this. This this might be the best leucistic in Call of the Wild. Like, besides maybe the pheasant? This has to be the nicest looking leucistic. Hands down the best leucistic in the game. That was probably the most unexpected thing. I only shot that because it was a level 4 and could potentially be a diamond. And instead, we've got ourselves a beautiful leucistic tundra bean goose. I honestly am happy now. Like, I, I can't even top that, I don't think, for the day. Well, we've got some just now disturbed vegetation from none other than the mountain hare. This one is 2 to 3 kgs, and I imagine that's probably max weight. I would imagine that has to be the max weight estimate. It definitely seems to be around the uh, same max weight estimate as some of the other rabbit species, so hopefully this actually will be a max weight, and that right there is definitely it. Oh, I was completely wrong. That is nowhere near a max weight, I imagine. Well, at least we're going to get a look at one of these. Provided the tree wasn't in the way. I, I don't exactly know how that hit the tree. It was definitely a little bit to the left of the tree, but uh, I suppose that's called the wild things. But we will finally get our first look at a mountain hare. I don't think they showed these off during any of the EW streams. So this is officially our first look at them. They look pretty decent, I gotta say. Not bad. Uh, probably not going to be my favorite of the rabbit species, but not bad. They're kind of cool. Uh, although, <laughs> we got this guy in kind of a weird pose. So, yeah, there's that. I am honestly just still blown away at the beauty of this map. Like, every time I enter a new part of the map, it, it looks even better than the previous one. This is just such a cool little area right here. We kind of got like some reeds right here. We've got some uh, weird uh, rock formations along the uh, shoreline. And then we've got the thick forest surrounding it. And this does appear to be a pretty cool area. I could definitely see myself pitching up a uh, waterfowl blind like right there with some decoys surrounding it and just taking down uh, whatever species this is, tundra bean goose. We're seeing a lot of bean goose. Lots and lots of them, you know? Let's try to get this one down too since it's a four. Last time that worked out pretty good for us and also 22 Hornet is gonna be the way to go, I think. I really feel like the 22 Hornet is going to be my pick for a uh, 22 on this map. It just seems like it makes it so much easier to take down the geese that may have got away from your uh, shotgun shots. And that right there was a rock tarm again, so we gotta chase that down as well. But let's go grab these geese first. So there is another one of the bean goose, and I think this is the male. Yeah, that's a brown one. Very nice looking. I, I can't remember if we shot a brown already. We're gonna tax it just in case. And it sounds like hazel grouse are flying over us. Well. I guess we're about to find out if that was considered grounded, because I think these are one that can be grounded. Actually, no. Wow, we got full score. All right. If I remember right, I think it's the ptarmigans that require to, you to shoot them in the air. And maybe the capricallies? I, I don't remember. We're going to have to kind of figure that out, but hazel grouse, you definitely can shoot them as they're starting to land, which typically that would give you a grounded score with a pheasant, so... I imagine these ones you can just blast away at even if they're on the ground. And now the last thing before we grab that rock tarm again, or I guess attempt to grab it, we've got this little male tundra bean goose right here. Another brown, this one is just a level three. Very cool looking regardless. I am in love with the geese on this map. Like these new goose species are absolutely stunning. And that is a brown bear. We need to take one of those down too because they are new and improved, so. We now have a brown bear to go look at. Another beautifully reworked animal in the Hunter Call of the Wild. They've really been killing it with the reworks of some of the older species. I've been very impressed with the changes to stuff like the black bear and also to uh, stuff like the waterfowl with the current rework they just did. And now with the brown bear looking absolutely beautiful. 
And also, it seems like there is way less fur types that are common. I'm assuming a lot of those ones that used to be uh, commons are probably going to be rare now. Stuff like the spirit bear and blonde and things like that, I imagine, are now going to be rares. But that's really cool. Such a beautiful model. Gotta say, it's a massive improvement over the original brown bears. Oh my gosh. Well, we found the rock tarm again. I'm assuming this is the molting one. I mean, that's pretty cool looking. That, that's definitely the molting one, I think. And it, it's now dead. Well, that was interesting. And yeah, this is a molting male rock tarm again. That is so beautiful. Love that. And, and look at that. It's got white feet as well. Because if I'm not mistaken, these feet are completely covered in feathers. I believe that's how the rock ptarmigans are, and it looks great. This is uh, one of the cooler things we've shot today besides that leucistic uh, bean goose. Oh my gosh, this is incredible looking. This might be one of the coolest things I've seen all day. We've got white-tailed deer in kind of a marshy area with trees kind of all in the water. Wow, this is absolutely amazing looking, and for those curious, this spot is right over here. I have ran all the way from our starting point here, clear over to here throughout this video. And this is one of the coolest locations I've ever seen for Whitetail. This is truly insane looking. Oh my gosh, that's a level 3 Goldeneye. That is going to be a diamond, I believe. There is no way we hit this thing. Oh my gosh, that is insane. We got a level 3 golden eye, and there's there's nothing we can do about it, really. Th there's really nothing we can do about it except hope that we can maybe get it to come to the collar once we go over to the decoys again. Oh man, I, I can't believe that. We just let a potential diamond get away. But at least we got ourselves a bean goose. I guess that's the uh, consolation prize. We will have to go try and get that duck, though. We, we definitely need to try and get it. Well, let's uh, go ahead and grab this real quickly. That is a gold tundra bean goose once again. Getting a lot of golds for them. Uh, let's head back to that blind and uh, see if we can get this duck to come in. I, I can't believe that. There is a level 3 golden eye duck, and, and it just got away. I got a feeling it's going to happen a lot with this current uh, waterfowl system. With the changes they've made, it's going to be hard to hit those things. Well, we are really trying to get that level 3 to come in, but I, I can't pass up the opportunity to take out a few others as well. I just brought out the 12 gauge, and we've got the brand new uh, Red Raptor Reflex Sight that now has a much more customizable look to it, as you can change literally everything about it, which is amazing. Huge fan of that. But we're going to see if we can get some of these uh, golden eyes down, and hopefully one of them will be that level 3 that we saw. Well, we got one of them. The way these ducks just circle you now is so cool. I am a huge fan of what they have done with the waterfowl. Gotta say, this is probably one of the biggest and most amazing changes to Call of the Wild as of recent. It's great to see the waterfowl working like they should and giving us a true-to-life experience for the most part. And it looks like we got more ducks clear over there. So I'm not sure if I want to shoot this one or not. I think I'm going to wait to see what these are. Well, since nothing else is really uh, coming in and I wasn't able to get that female, let's take a look at this golden eye right here. 1,091, that's a very big one. However, it's not that level 3 diamond potential that we saw, so we got to keep looking for that thing. Well, that was incredibly satisfying. That was incredibly satisfying. Oh my gosh, there it is. There is the uh, level 3 golden eye. Oh, okay, this is bad. We are out of our blind, and there's not really anything I can do about it, except just hope that we can get this thing and and spot all these others. There he is. There's our level three. He is calm, so we, we do have some time to get there, I think. So it seems like they are aware of us being here. Just going to be a matter of whether or not the three spooks off. It, it definitely could, and in case that happens, I want to be ready. In fact, I think the best option right now might just be to spook them up and try to blast them as they fly away. Okay, I did not think that there was that many of them that close. 
Uh, we quickly gotta find our level three. If it's even one of these, which I, I suppose it's possible we shot it. Uh, these are all geese, so yeah, it's unfortunate. Where is the golden eyes? I mean, we killed a few. Maybe one of these is our three. That is a female golden eye. There it is. There it is. There is our level three. It is about time I've been sitting here for so long, just waiting for this guy to come in. And we finally got him in front of us. I'm just going to keep my crosshair right on him so we know exactly which one to go for. Oh my gosh, it is happening. We've got our level three right in front of us and we'll most likely be able to get it down shortly. This is awesome. This is just absolutely amazing. Now, hopefully these won't spook and completely ruin this for us because that would be quite unfortunate. Okay, it's landing right here. We got it. Oh my gosh, there we go. We finally have our very first diamond potential down. And there's no way we're going to get those ones, but I don't even care. We just got a diamond potential golden eye. That is amazing. Now we just got to wait for it to float to us, which shouldn't take too long. In fact, it's uh, pretty much already here. Let's go ahead and grab this. I think this is it. This might be a different one, but let's go ahead and grab it. That is the female. So our male's got to be close. Is this it? That is also a female golden eye. Where is our male? Oh, you know what? I probably uh, should have guessed that it would be a little bit closer. No, it's a troll. Oh my gosh, we just got trolled by a golden eye. So they're not guaranteed diamonds, that's for sure. Unlike the mallard, these actually look like they might have a chance at trolling pretty often. 1194.20, we're still going to tax it. See if there's any multi mounts for it. Speaking of that, let's go into the lodge because we definitely need to check to see if there's any new multi mounts. So already we have a new multi mount right here: a raccoon dog and a willow ptarmigan called Foul Play. That's really cool. Uh, let's go through here and see if any of these other ones look to be new. Uh, so far, it's not looking like it. Although we do what? We have a new black bear mount. The bear necessities with two black bear fighting. So we got more than just mounts for this map. We've got what seems to be for every map. Uh, this is an old one here. Uh, do we have any more of these that are new? Uh, Foul Feud. This is two black grouse males. Okay, that's really cool. Uh, do we have anything else in here that is a, a new one? We've got the Smooth Operator, which is three Capricallis. Okay, so it looks like there's three of them. We have the Smooth Operator. We've now got the Foul Feud, or actually there's four of them, I should say. We've got the um, Bear Necessities. And then we also have the um, Foul Play one. So, okay, that's pretty cool. We've got four brand new multi mounts, and obviously we're gonna try and build these. We're probably going to do that in a different video though, so stay tuned on the channel, we'll definitely be doing that. But I think it's time we take a look at these brand new species and uh, find a place in the lodge to put them. It's going to get very difficult to choose what I want in the main lodge now with all of the brand new species. So I, th I think we're just going to take down one of these harlequins and then put up the uh, brand new golden eye. Let's see that. That is very beautiful. These are going to look so good on the wall. Very excited to be putting some of these golden eyes in here. I wanted to find some of the Eurasian teal today, but that's going to have to wait till another video, I think, as this one is going very, very long, much longer than I would have liked it to. So let's just take a quick look at all of these. Let's take, take a look at the rock charm again. That is very beautiful. Amazing looking rock charm again. And then last but not least, let's take a look at our leucistic tundra bean goose, which is probably the best thing that we got today. That is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Love to see it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A first look at Revon Tuli Coast. There's a lot of cool stuff with this map, and we're going to take a look at it throughout the next week in early access and the many, many weeks after that. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, 
Be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys thought of this reserve and what you guys think of the Waterfowl rework. With that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!